Like the formation of uh, pseudopodium, for example, we check the amoeba, formation of pseudopodium, different types of theories will be there. Allen's theory and uh, Pountaining theory will be there. Let us see how the pseudopodium is formed in the amoeba. For example, this is we take the amoeba. Okay, it is a nucleus, it is a vacuoles. Here basically two types of uh, cytoplasm we are seeing. First is goes to inner sites. There is a have a liquid shape, liquid type of uh, substance, liquid, liquid type of uh, cytoplasm we call as sol. And the outermost, outermost part we consider as a gel. Okay, here sol is converted to the gel, gel is converted to the sol. In these uh, conversions, means vice versa. So, sol is converted to the gel, gel is converted to the sol, vice versa to project uh, towards to formation of a pseudopodium, pseudopodium to move one place to another place. This type of movement we call as amoeboid movement. How the formation means, for example, this is a sol to elimination of water molecules to formation of gel. The process we called as gelation. The process we called as gelation. Gel to require to taking water to formation of a sol. This part is goes to solation. Solation centers. Okay, gelation and solutions. To vice versa, converse it is to the here sol to elimination of water molecules to come outwards to formation of a gel to produce the formation of pseudopodium and last one here is goes to the sol to elimination of water molecules to formation of a gel like this vice versa is conversion which takes place the pseudopodium will be formed these type of slow movement we call as amoeboid movement amoeboid movement in the higher organisms also the this type of movement by the wbc will be exposed to the this type of amoeboid movement Okay, this type of amoebaid movement will be there. This is about pseudopodiums. Pseudopodium. Next, we are going to discuss about flagella. Next, we go to flagella. Flagella, another type of locomotor organelles in the protozoans, mostly mastigophores. Mostly mastigophores, we call it as flagella mastigo means mastigo means some uh, small hair like projections we call as mastigo for it means having and bear it we call as mastigo force basically it is a whip like structure it is goes to whip like structure whip like structure and it is originated from the anterior part of anterior part of the organisms it is a formed anterior part of organism anterior part of organism that is a flagella let us the typical flagella there is have a different type of structures first we call it as go to ultra structure of flagella ultra structure of flagella the first one is goes to here is goes to axoneme this goes to axoneme axoneme covered by the small membrane we call it as a plasma membrane okay first one is goes to ultra structure ultra structure of flagella ultra structure of flagella first one is goes to axonomy 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 is covered by the plasma membrane outermost we call it as plasma membrane okay in that you can complete uh, this space we call it as a matrix what are the flagellar organelles what are the parts of the flagella it is embedded in the matrix is complete we call it as matrix in the entire the is the round structure of the matrix all the cell organelles and what are the components of flagella is embedded into the this type of axonomy second one is goes to microtubules second one is goes to microtubules Microtubules, there are two types of microtubules are there, but the center there are two microtubules are there that goes to central singlet units or central singlet uh, microtubules are there. All the microtubules are made up of the protein is goes to tubulin. Tubulin, tubulin is a protein 
is a formation of a microtubules. In the central, there are two are there, and the peripheral, there are nine doublets are there. Nine doublets. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. The nine doublets are there. This type of arrangement is goes to nine plus two type of arrangement. Basically, this type of flagella we are seeing naturally protozoa and all eukaryotic flagella also bearing of same type of arrangement. But flagella we are seeing to bacteria. A bacteria flagella we should not pose as to the, this nine plus two arrangement. Only eukaryotic eukaryotic organisms that is goes to protozoa is poses to the nine plus two arrangement. In the goes to spermatozoa also higher organisms the spermatozoa also the tail we pose as to the this type of nine plus two arrangement. Will be there. Here we are seeing into the, this doublet. This doublet. This is goes to first part is goes to outer pass doublet we called as a tubule. A tubule also we consider as alpha tubule. It is comes to the outer part. This outer part. It is smaller than the big one. Smaller than the p one. But innermost part we consider as a b tubule. B tubule, nothing but we call it as beta tubule. Beta tubule is considered as a big one. A is a small one, B is a big one. And the A is a complete one. A is a complete circle. B is not complete, it is incomplete circle. It's very clear for that. A is the outermost A tubule. B is the innermost. It is innermost is a B tubule. Okay, A nothing but equals alpha tubule, B tubule we consider as a beta tubule B. A is a complete tubule, B is an incomplete tubule. Okay, each and every nine peripheral tubules is interconnected by the, the small connections. These small connections we called as nexons. All connections we called as nexons. All connections we called as nexons connections. Here, next one is goes to a tubule to formation of a two arm-like structures, two arm-like structures here. These arm-like structures to be formation of clockwise directions. To a tubule is connected to the b tubule for the two arm-like structures. These arm-like structures we call as dining arms. We call is called as Dining arms, these uh, arms, dining is, protein is a formation of a dining arms, dining arms to be to catch to the A from the A to B, it is catch to clockwise direction of orientation will be there. This type of arrangement is goes to peripheral tubules. Next is goes to, next is goes to in the central, central tubules is covered by the one sheet we called as inner sheet we called as inner sheet inner sheet inner sheet next outermost of peripheral tubules is covered by the one more sheet we called as outer sheet outer sheet fourth one is goes to outer sheet outer sheet right here one a tubule to be originated by the one spoke like structures we called as radial spokes is similar to uh, it is similar to that uh, similar to that uh, the wheel of bicycle there is have a spokes how the spokes is arranged to the rim to the rim to the the central axles this type of uh, spokes we called as radial spokes we called as radial spokes. Radial spokes will be there. It is tied to attach it to the central filament or central tubules. Right, this is uh, arrangement of uh, ultra structure of ultra structure of the flagella. Right, so I will tell you once again. First one is goes to a round structure of axoneme. In the center part, we complete the space we called as matrix. What are the cell organelles? What are the components of the flagella? It is embedded into the matrix. The matrix will be consisting of a number of microtubules. 
the microtubules are goes to two types of microtubules are we are seeing first one in the center there is the two central singlets two central singlets uh, tubules will be there all the tubules are made up of tubulin is a protein then the center is goes to central two tubules are there in the peripheral peripheral nine doublets are there means the two two molecules two two tubules are embedded so nine tubules will be there this arrangement we call nice 9 plus 2 arrangement 9 plus 2 arrangement will be there okay it is a peripheral there are two doublets the consistency of the a tubule outer one b tubule and inner one a and b a is a complete circle b is an incomplete circle these each and every doublets to be arranged to the clockwise direction by the attachment to the in the small connections we called as nexins we called as nexins connections will be the nexins connections and uh, a from the a one two arm like projections to be formation this arm like uh, projections we call as a dining arms the dining arms is connected to the from the a to is connected to the b like a uh, clockwise orientation will be the right here and let us why this goes to the central tubule is covered by the one sheet which goes to inner sheet all the peripheral tubules is covered by the one more sheet is goes to peripheral sheet and the outer sheet next here the central tubule is connected to the peripheral tubule by the small spoke like structures we call as radial spokes will be there this is about ultra structure of flagella